everyone, it's Mrs. Shannon and it's Charlie, my youngest daughter, who is going to sit here when we do the daily announcement for Friday, March 15th. So as usual, I'm gonna walk you through the expectations for today. You should always start with a daily message um, because there might be questions later on and this will clear any of them up. So homepage and announcements, where you land, always go to the weekly agendas. And we are going into week, we're in week 14. And you'll see that it has Mondays and Wednesday. Wednesday's activity was um, activity 74, measuring speed. And we went back to those textbooks we were using in class. Sometimes um, I would print off these copies that looked very similar, um, where it had the procedure on the paper itself. Um, it's, it was for people that were absent, or you could also do it virtually. Um, but this is a way that we could still use our textbook. It's sometimes a little complicated. I had a lot of people asking questions, and I get that. Um, but I am very, very proud of you because so many people have turned in their assignment for this. I am just blown away by how many people have been doing this. So um, great job, you guys. It was a little rough at the beginning um, trying to get, you know, into the groove and stuff, but you guys have rocked it out. So the first part here was just kind of your own ideas, okay? Um, you didn't have to use anything but your prior brain knowledge. And then you read the intro. Then you had to actually read the procedure in the textbook. And you had to think of variables. This, this was a challenge for some people. Variables are things that could change that you'd want to keep the same each time. Like if you wanted to see the speed of a car going down the ramp, would you want to use a car that was really tiny the first time and then a car that was really big and heavy the second time? Or do you think that would affect the speed? Like in my head, I think that would affect the speed. So that would be a variable I would want to keep the same. So variables are things that could change, okay? Um, and those are things that we need to know up front so we can know that we need to control them. Now, you didn't have to do it. Instead, you watched a video um, right here by clicking on this link of someone else doing it. And then you had to record the data in a data table. So you actually had to insert a table. Some people drew it out. Some people went to the insert data here. Okay. And then you had to figure out, were there some variables that influenced the speed of the cart that you didn't list above once you saw the video? And then part B, the effect. You're going to actually have to write out a procedure, and we've done that before. Be specific. Okay. Now, I didn't say this, but question seven you would not have to do because we aren't in class, okay? We aren't in class. Um, I would like you to do the follow-up questions. One, one A, um, Any of them that have to do with the video that you saw, please include, okay? Um, and then definitely number five here and number six. So yes, I did want you to do the follow-up questions. If you did not finish on Wednesday, that's the first thing you're going to be finishing up today. I know that this was a longer assignment. Um, that's okay. But when you're finished... The actual assignment for today is kind of a, a piggyback on what you learned about, about speed. So you talked about speed and how speed is distance divided by time, how far something goes divided by the time it takes. Well, now you're going to do this Google form. It's kind of like those book pogles where we would be in groups and all the information's in your reading. If you just go back up and look at the reading and the pictures, it's the same way here. So you're going to enter your name, your class hour. Um, it tells you a little bit about what I just said, how you just learned how to determine the speed of a car going down the ramp. Now you're going to get more practice calculating speed. Whenever it says background reading, it's very important for you to read because that's the information that you need to use to answer the questions below it. So you're going to see that it talks about speed and distance. Now it's also going to talk, talk about displacement. Distance is the change in location from an object to its starting point. So in this case, 
the dog went nine meters. The displacement, okay, it's how far it's actually moved, okay, to get to that. In this case, the displacement was 10 meters because he kind of jumped into the air a little bit, a loop. So even though <coughs> where he landed was only nine meters away, he actually traveled 10 meters in the air. So that's a new term, displacement. And then you're gonna um, see that speed is just like what it said in the book, distance divided by time. So now using that information here, and it says, hint, look up for the formula for speed, you're gonna answer. Do you need to know the distance to calculate the speed if it's needed? Check needed. If it's not, check not needed. And you do that for each of these. Then you're gonna have another diagram. And this diagram, this ball, okay, starts right here. It travels this black path, the actual path. Someone hit it this direction. It bounced all around this other end and then landed in this pocket. Now this pocket is five feet away, okay? But in order to get five feet away, it traveled, hint, 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 it was displaced if you were struggling, okay? This black path total. So you're gonna practice determining displacement and distance and speed in these questions. So you're gonna go through this first part and that's what it's gonna be about is distance, displacement, speed, and then something called velocity. And you'll be learning about velocity um, and another background reading section. So just please make sure that you're reading and looking at the diagrams. Now, I don't think I can go through and hit next from where I'm at. Nope, because it requires a submission. Now, I will tell you the next section, you have to click next. Um, the next section is not going to be questions about speed and motion. Instead, it's going to be a reflection. It's going to ask you what kind of activities you like during e-learning and what type of activities actually help you learn the most. It's also going to ask you what materials you have at home um, because I want to do labs. I said that we were going to be doing a lab after the speed lesson, um, but I want to know what materials you have at home to work with because I don't want us to have to go out and get anything. I want everyone to be able to do the labs. So you're going to need to fill that out. And then the last question is just kind of how you're feeling right now. So please answer the reflection questions as well. I won't be counting them right or wrong, um, but it helps me plan. And uh, that way I can see like if there's anything I can do to help you. Okay. Also feel free to email me if you have any questions. So um, I'm going to put this up on our homepage and you guys take care. And if I, um, if you have questions, email me. If you don't have questions, then I'll probably talk to you on Monday.